Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick startup speed test here with the uh, Android 7.0 Nogat beta version, uh, the official um, beta from Samsung on the Galaxy S7. Uh, and then I want to compare it here in speed versus the iPhone 7 uh, with uh, iOS 10.2, I think it is, which seems to be at the moment when I'm doing this video, the latest version, which is like uh, officially well, but of course there are beta variants, but uh, let's go. Okay. Something has done some really interesting stuff with this uh, Android 7.0 version, so I really don't know who is faster here or going to be. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. Yeah, Apple is really good lately also in like optimizing speed. And I um, also saw a video that the, uh, the iPhone 7 gets a really, really good uh, Geekbench score so as a good, strong processor. Uh, but yeah, the iPhone 7 definitely starts up faster there. Uh, a little bit funny here how both have kind of like a, um, a kind of almost similar background uh, well in the, the default wallpapers. Uh, so first of all, we can just uh, see here what I am running. I think this one has... Yes, this is 10.2. Here you can see the new menus on the... Um, on the S7, which looks white, just as the iPhone. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. It looks, it looks like they've ripped them off. <laughs> but they, you know, these companies copy all the time uh, from each other. Uh, and yeah, Android 7.0 version over there. I think Samsung recently released beta three or something of it. I think this can be beta one or beta two. Uh, but uh, here you can see the menus. Apple is a little bit more colorful uh, in uh, in the icons here on the side. But other than that, there are pretty pretty similar menus over there. Uh, and uh, of course, there's a big thing here. Also, Samsung has redesigned uh, their page here, where you can quickly toggle things. You have three um, pages actually, which is pretty useful. Do not disturb functions and mobile hotspots. Actually, mobile hotspot, I don't think that's been uh, quickly available in here. Of course, Apple still only allows a few things you can tweak. Uh, or actually, there is a few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I mean, Apple has a lot of some things you can tweak. But here it's 9. Yeah, it's definitely for sure more things you can tweak here on uh, the uh, on uh, the uh, Sammy Boy. And it's pretty funny here, the icons looks very, very similar as well. I mean, it's almost like, uh, I mean, it's pretty hilarious. Uh, if you look at the multitasking here, you can also see both have like big, uh, large pages, but Samsung is going up and down like this. Apple is going to the side. I gotta say, Apple is a little bit more smooth here when you're going like this. Like uh, you can very, very quickly go back to the first page. Uh, it's smooth here as well, but not in the same way. Uh, you can close them here, use one direction by swiping up. On the Samsung one, you can swipe both sides to close an app. Uh, yeah, just a quick little uh, startup there, and um, probably gonna do some more videos. Here, of course, you still have the app drawer in uh, the uh, S7 with Android 7.0. Uh, I'm not sure if Samsung's gonna remove it. It feels like they're not gonna do that again now. It feels, they did it for a while. Like I think they were experimenting with removing the app drawer, but now it's back again. So uh, I'm happy for it because I really, really enjoy it. Uh, I might compare some apps like the camera app, for example, because Samsung for sure has updated it a little bit here, how it looks and when I think about it now, isn't this almost a little bit like the iPhone? Let's see. I mean, <laughs> yeah, both have like dark UI in the camera app. So it kind of, you know, uh, they've copied each other again, it looks like. I mean, some, sometimes when I do these videos, Apple has copied from Samsung, sometimes Samsung is copying from Apple. So 
it's a little bit funny um, but yeah I really enjoy and some of the Nogat it's a very very nice version from Samsung and it really looks like Samsung is uh, gonna do some cool stuff next year of course Apple also um, getting ten, turning 10 years with the iPhone so probably gonna see a cool iPhone next year cool Samsung phone uh, because Samsung won a revenge from the Note 7 fiasco uh, so yeah quick video checking that out hope you enjoyed have a great day